made you want to play basketball? I just like saw it when I was a kid and I was like, mm, it's kind of fun. You guys aren't having your best season, mm -hmm. that's for sure. You guys had a great season last year, but what's making this season uh, different from last season? Um, we have seniors now. It's Everyone's kind of finding their own role and settling in, and we're looking to make a run at the right time. What's your favorite part about basketball? About basketball? Um, how fast the game can switch. This one play can change it. What's your favorite part about being on Liberty as a team? Just once again, how close the teammates are. Like everyone has each other's backs. If someone misses practice, we all hold it. We all hold each other accountable. The boys' varsity basketball team con consists of one freshman, some sophomores, juniors, and seniors. The starting lineup is Andre, Sam, Ben, Basil, and Ira. The team has around 14 players on it. With a total of 21 games in a regular season, the guys have gone 6-3 and three so far. Practices are from 4.10 to 6.30 p.m. Games are on Tuesdays and Fridays. Liberty has two dance teams. This is the first year that Liberty will have more than one team, the Varsity and the JV. The Varsity's head coach is Katie Malloy, and she is assisted by Maddie Vernon and Riley Vilhauer. This year, the Varsity team plays first in jazz and palms at the Chicagoland Regional Dance Championships. The Varsity dance team has competed at nationals both of their seasons and will be competing there again this year. At the end of the season, the dance team will graduate three seasons. <laughs> What would you say is the most difficult part? Um, I would say it's very physically and mentally demanding, which can get hard at times, but it's definitely all worth it in the end, like when we go to nationals and we reach our goals and stuff and have like the benchmark competition points. So I would say, I mean, it is difficult, but it's definitely all worth it. Uh, how much time do you dedicate yourself to dance? Um, so we have after school practices during the week and then Saturday mornings and it adds up to about 16 hours a week. If someone was trying to join dance, what would you try to tell them? Um, I would just say definitely go for it. Um, it's so rewarding, like versus studio. I mean, it's a lot more time and effort that you have to put in on dance team, but it's just so much more rewarding and it's definitely worth it. You get to meet your best friends, so I would say do it. Uh, what made your team want to do a co-ed dance? So my coach over at West did it with her dancers on the West High Palms and she said they always had like a super fun time with it. So we decided to do it here and the guys are all getting really into it. So it's super fun. Liberty's BPA meets almost every Friday before school. BPA stands for Business Professionals of America. It's advised by Mr. Hammes and Mr. Eilers. It was started by seniors Brayden Haas and AJ Meyer. Seven out of eight of our members qualified and competed in the national championship last year in California. BPA provides many scholarship opportunities and practice presenting in groups in front of judges and collaborating with others. What is BPA? I think BPA is a club that just about anybody can join. It's an interesting club for people who want to develop their business skills for the professional world and it's a lot of fun if anybody wants to join, which you can do starting next year. What do you do in BPA? Um, well, in BPA, what we do is we're given certain events, like it's a whole national program thing. So they give us certain events that we can participate in, and we can choose these events based on what we like and what we don't like. And we're given um, prompts to answer uh, based on the type of event. Like some events might be a test, some events could be a whole presentation, making a business, there's a wide uh, a variety of things that you can do. And uh, you compete in these events against other people from Iowa uh, for a state conference, and then depending on how well you do at the state conference, you can make it to nationals and compete against other people in fun places like Orlando and Anaheim, California. Hey. So I've only been in BPA for one year, uh, my freshman year, and I'm currently in it right now. 
is a sophomore. Uh, last year, uh, me and my partner, Eric Colony, uh, made it to nationals in global marketing. Uh, so we got to compete at state, and then we competed in Anaheim, actually, so that was fun.